All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to another episode of Itchy Inge. It is Monday, so you know what that means. It is Monday Mayhem. Even though it's Labor Day, we still work. We still do the scratch tickets. I just want to remind everyone, just like from my other video, let me zoom in here. The San Gennaro Festival is coming up. It is September 13th to the 23rd. The Beard, one of the members of the Butt Scratchers, has his own channel. Has his own channel. You hear me? He does have his own channel, but he has his own stand in the San Gennaro Feast. It's on. It's, it's right in front of La Bella Flora, which is a world famous bakery, one ten Mulberry Street beneath, between Canal and Hester. The name of the stand is Roll Up. There is nothing else like it in the Feast. That's right. Unique. Unique. It's a New York thing. Anybody who's been to New York in September knows about the San Gennaro Feast. So once again, this I'll leave this up for a little, for a second or two longer. Go check out Anthony the Beard, the ninety second annual. Feast of San Gennaro. Anybody, anybody, that, anybody that says it's the gets gets uh, half off. That's right. Anybody mentions that you came here, came to the roll up stand. You mention Itchy Ange, you'll get half off. Fifty percent. Taste the royalty is his YouTube channel. He's an up and coming chef. Be there or comb your hair. That's now right. enough of this because yeah, it is Monday, so you know what that means. It is Monday mm -hmm. mayhem. The beard is in the house. Smelly Michelle's here. Jonesy and the boyfriend are inside. We have five of the two dollar mayhems and three of the ten dollar mayhems. It's a, it's a red letter day, folks. It's a red letter day. Itchy Inge, uh, I know it's Labor Day, but Itchy Inge worked today. Let me zoom in a little bit here, like the professionals do. Mm. All right, this is just a straight scratch. You got to get two like symbols in the game. Maybe we'll get a hanger. Maybe we won't. The beard is here. He's playing with the cats. Yeah. The cats love the beard. The cats love the, the beard is one with the cats. There's no winner there. Let's see if we got a hanger here. We need a hanger here to start off the to start off the day right. Do we have a match here? You don't need to get three like symbols, just two on this card, uh, which is uh just, as hard, just as hard as three. Yeah, just as hard as three apparently. <laughs> the sword is back. We have three ten dollar mayhems though, so that's where we're gonna win our money. We may even go some symbol fishing today. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you. What we got here? We need a fucking hanger. I don't know, beard. I can't catch a hanger to save my life. The New York tickets have been terrible for me. So, what I was thinking about earlier was... What I was... Oh, you, we don't have a match here, right? No, that's not a match. I have a good feeling about this Monday. I have a good feeling about you know this what? Monday mayhem, too, It's Labor Day. You know? It's Labor Day. The kids start school tomorrow. Maybe we'll get a five times in here. Or a... A mayhem symbol, which is a hundred dollars instantly. Do we have anything here? Nope. If this mayhem symbol well, is going to be complete mayhem in this house. Yeah, if there's a mayhem symbol coming, it'll be complete mayhem here. On a two dollar hanger. I'm going to wear the beep as a hat when I go out later. Oh, your beep. Alright, <laughs> we have nothing here. We only have, I think, two more of these two dollar jammies, and then we're gonna go for the big ten dollar ones, and then that's gonna be it. So I was, I was talking to myself on the way home from work today. Do we have a match here? What is this? We gotta get two or three. Two. Hmm. No match, right? No. I gotta tell you, the New York tickets. Up, oh, we got a hanger, folks. All right, we got a hanger. Let's see what we got here. We got a hanger here. Let's hope for something nice here. Two dollars. All right, we'll take it. They put this on the board. Two dollars better than nothing. Put it in the winner pot. So I was, I was thinking to myself on the way here. What was it that made me? Want to do scratch tickets? All joking aside, I kid a lot, but what was it? What you know, something? It's not for everyone. It's a very eternal question. I like it. I have a friend that's a that's a diehard sports gambler. Will not do a scratch ticket to save his life, but obviously loves gambling because he bets on the sports all the time. What was it in my life that made me become a scratch ticket guy? I um. I don't think we have a match here. This is when I start to screw up, when I start talking. Um, I know what it was for me. So I'm a compulsive person by nature. Let me zoom out a little bit. doesn't matter if it was, you know, uh, drinking. I was a fan of the drink and drugs. I'm clean since 1996. Nice. So, but it was always something. I'm, I, I, I eat like an animal. I'm a compulsive eater. And I think... It's just my nature to be compulsive, so I once, when, when I was very young, 
won, I actually talked about it on my very first video, won $500 on a $2 bingo. And I'm going back 25, 30 years. Before the beard was born. Before the beard was even born. <laughs> so, up. Oh. Then we got a hanger on the first card here. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's a manual win all, like they say in the, the manifesting States. it through your emotions. You see? Do we have another three? Is it a single hanger? Could it be a single hanger? It's like the law of attraction. Right? I don't want to. I don't want to ruin anything here. But this might what be this? the winner that puts us over the top. Oh, money's dead. Yeah, no, it's money's dead. So I won five hundred on a bingo ticket when I was probably fifteen years old, and I think that's what it was that made me fall in love with the scratch. I've had some decent wins. I've hit my biggest win on a scratch ticket. Is that a match? No, it was $5,000 on a $5 ticket. I remember that day. That was quite a while ago. It was on a $5 ticket, New York ticket. The silver one. Yes, it was the silver one. I also hit 2000 a 1000 a few, quite a few times. And we've all had our $500, $600 hits. So I think it's a single hanger, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go back to it though. We're not gonna do it right away. We'll take a hanger when it comes. <laughs> you know what? You got sometimes you gotta take what they give you. This is number forty six. So, all joking aside, the bingo ticket that I won the five hundred dollars on that made me turn into the scratch was number forty six. And I actually mentioned that in my first video. Let's symbol hunt. This is what they call symbol hunt. Oh, I had a ten dollar yeah. scratch from Jersey, I wanted to do it to you. But you did it instead. This is what they call the symbol hunt method. You look for uh, symbols, but we didn't find any. I thought they got rid of that. No, you know what? Okay. It was outlawed. It was outlawed back in the early '80s, but <laughs> they, like they, they uh, like prohibit right, but they passed the law, and now it's back. Twenty-four and two. Do we have a twenty-four or a two? You're doing it the European way right now. That's right. The Europeans are known for their uh, symbol hunting. 12 and 3. The Aborigines. <laughs> the Aborigines? In Australia? Or Aborigines is the other ones to call Yeah. Jardine and 16. Do we have a Jardine? Yeah, messages. It's the age. No. No Jardine, no 16. No Jardine, no 16. 11. Do we have an 11? No. We have 1, 21, and 31. <laughs> We have 37, no, we don't have that. we have 27. Tickets are getting a little messy here. Six, pick up sticks. And 26. Do we have a 26, guys? No. Unfortunately. You know what, this next card right here. Smelly Michelle is going. Where are you going? No way. What? Back to Kelly. She's staying. All right, let's do this the regular way and then we'll wrap it up. Because we have a lot to get to today. You're not going to wait for the reveal, Smelly? Yeah. How come? Because I want to go smoke. Smoke. It's an addiction. And again, we got the this. first hanger on the first corner. Smelly, you got to stay for the reveal. Unbelievable. We got to fuck The hang. bid, easy with the language. Yep. Sorry, this is just channels PG. Sorry, people. Double hanger. Double hanger. Double hanger alert. Gonna be hard not to curse. Six pickup sticks. Maybe this is the winner that we've all been waiting for. I gotta tell you, thank God for the Monday Mayhems. They've been bailing me out a little bit. You know what I mean? But nothing big. 18, no dice there. You know what? If there's no mayhem on a Monday, Seven. I don't want to be on a Monday. I don't want to be up on a Maybe Monday. we'll get Jardine. 30. No. Mm, yeah, 24 Jardine. <laughs> 38. So what is it? What was it? 38 procrastinating. What was that first big hit? For you guys out there that made you realize that you were a fan of the scratch. Yeah, Where's tell Smelly? Them, tell them to write their stories in the comments. Hey, uh, Beard, do you want to go see if Smelly wants to be part of the reveal? Tell her to write tell their experiences her, in the comments. Tell her I really wanted to be part of this reveal. What'd you say? So we got, all right, so Smelly Michelle is coming. We have two hangers on this card, right? The two corners, corner hangers. Have you ever seen a two corner hangers, Smelly? Corner hangouts. See it? 37 and 8. We have two corner hangers, and we got uh, the one single match here. This is single. Let's zoom in like the professionals do. Are we taking guesses? I say this is at least $10. What number is it? <laughs> I say it's 40. What number is it? It's number 47. 15. Let's creep on it over here. Nice. Maybe we'll get the big zeros that we've all been hoping for. Nope. 
I right. told you it was at least ten dollars, so right. we got, <laughs> so we got ten dollars. <laughs> you got to take, <laughs> take what they give you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but that's all right because this here double hanger little, alert, little double hanger alert, thirty-seven 15, 15. and eight. You think fifteen and fifteen smelly? I'm going fifty total. I would like eight. it if it was five hundred and five hundred. I would too. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, thirty-seven. This is the matching number. Ten. All right. all right, you never know. And Sometimes eight. they do two different prizes. Mm. Ten. ten. Okay, right. so right. you know what? Not bad. Ten, ten wins. Almost a break-even session. That's right. We got enough scratch ticket shavings to uh, uh, mold a small toy. That's right. And uh, and that is it. In the comments below, definitely uh, definitely let me know. What was it? What was that first big hit that made you realize that uh, you were a fan of the scratch and had to be a part of the scratch ticket uh, world? Uh, I told you my story. Once again, the San Gennaro Feast. Don't forget, go check out the beard. Taste the royalty. The name is Stan is Roll Up. It's September 13th to the 23rd. Eat different, be different. That's right. Eat different, be different. Come out and taste the royalty. And we will see you next time.